Hello everyone and welcome to my small business starting a knitting business vlog. So I have ordered a bunch of wool and I'm currently waiting on the packages but I still have some wool here and so this is one of the skeins I have. It smells like cigarette smoke and I've talked about that in a video that I'm gonna link you up here. It's an in and out video where I shared that I bought this in November. It has been hanging outside now for a week it's got maybe a bit better, but I thought like I first will knit it up and then I'll like just wash it and try all the tricks that you left me in the comments to get rid of, yeah, the smell. But first, let's like wind it up so that I can actually knit with it. And because I am a minimalist, I of course don't have like all these fancy tools that you could have just because I'm just starting out now and I've, had, I've only knitted for myself so far. So a chair has to do, but I think it, it actually works pretty well. So we're gonna use the chair. Okay, actually pretty well is something else, but I'm gonna try to get this wool on like one, one big ball and we'll see how it goes. Look at this massive ball. It's like the size of my head almost. But I mean, it wouldn't really make sense to cut it just to have like normal sized yarn, right? So I'm gonna knit with this giant thing. So I have been thinking about what I want to knit with this and it's about like 300 grams. So it's not enough for a sweater, but it's plenty for like a hat or something like that. So I thought about knitting a sweater vest. Also because I would love to make a sweater vest, but I wouldn't wear it. So I think it's perfect for my business because I thought maybe one of you wants a sweater vest. And so this is a beautiful color, 100% wool. And it's not gonna smell like smoke once I've like washed it and cared for it properly. And so this is gonna be a beautiful piece. Maybe for all of you wondering why I am starting this business or thinking about it, We'll see if it turns out any good. Um, but I, I'm thinking about it something like, maybe like merch, but I wouldn't like want to buy t-shirts just to print a logo on it or something like that. But I want to make these things out of secondhand wool, which is like super sustainable because the only footprint it has is like, it's once shipped through Germany from the person that had it before and didn't want it anymore to me and then it's shipped to you. So it's like really, it's really sustainable. I'm using the tools that I already have. Um, yeah, I'm using um, material that I already have for shipping, things like that. So something else that I have already made is actually two hats. This one I think is a bit more like for smaller heads, like mine maybe. And this one is definitely for like bigger, bigger heads. Um, I mean, it fits me, but it's like really bulky on my head. And I've just been craving doing things with my hands. And I've actually not weaved in the ends of either of those because that's not my favorite part. And because I didn't like, I don't want to wear it or I don't need it to be finished right now. I just didn't do it. But I need to do that, of course. And I need to like wash them and 
take pictures of them. So my thought is that I just have something that um, a business that turns into money some, somehow a little bit at least, like a few hundred euros a month would be ideal for me that I can do with my hands because I've just been craving doing things with my hands because yes, filming YouTube videos and editing them and things like that, I have to do that too. Like there's, there's a part that is not just thinking based, but like the maturity or the actual work happens in my head, like thinking of the video ideas, thinking of the shots, um, thinking of how I want to edit it, title it, how, what, what kind of thumbnail I want to pick. And so I've just been craving something that I can do without thinking so much. And so I think this could be a perfect thing and I really hope you will like it too. And so these are the first two like finished things that could be, yeah, yeah, the first products. And I think, I think the shop will go live maybe in January, maybe in February. I need to do some like legal things first as well, so that I'm not like doing it illegally because my business now is only like internet sector. That's actually what it says in my business description. And I think that is not, that's not covered by internet sector. So to knit the sweater vest, I really want to decide what kind of like pattern I want to use. And a few weeks ago, maybe you saw it on my Instagram, I just made these swatches to try out some patterns. And there's a mistake, but I thought like for a swatch, it doesn't matter. I really like that one that's like bubbly, but that's maybe a bit too playful. I don't know for that, for that color. Um, so I think this one looks different on the other side. So I think I'm actually gonna go with either this one or this one, which is both um, so a kind of like a broken rib stitch. And I think that would look beautiful and maybe a V-neck, we'll see. But that's the beautiful part. I can be really creative and knit whatever I want. So the thought of like this business is that I'm um, knitting mini collections, like just a few pieces and then I like launch them and then I, I hope they sell out or like most of it um, gets sold. And then I like start creating new pieces. And when once I have like 10 new pieces or something, I'm launching the next mini collection. But what I also really want to do, and that's like, that's where the idea has come from, is offering you custom pieces. So you can just write what you want to have. You can take a look at my stash on um, via pictures or video call or something like that. And you can pick like a yarn or you can also pick a yarn that I don't have and then I need to buy it. Then it's not that sustainable maybe, but to, to just make sure that you get exactly what you want. And then you just tell me your measurements, what kind of a sweater you want, what pattern, what cut, whatever you need. And then I can make a sweater for you or a hat or a sweater vest or um, gloves or whatever you need. And I think this is just a beautiful idea because I, I mean, I want to, this should be slow fashion and sustainable fashion and these should be pieces that last. So I hope I can create pieces that you really want to have that are maybe not available for purchasing that have your measurements, things like that, to just make it something that doesn't exist already like that or not that much. Maybe on Etsy, there are a few people offering a service like that, but mine should be super sustainable should there should be a connection to like my viewers me and i am really looking forward and i hope this is gonna work out well So it's a few days later and my packages have arrived. It's not all of them, I think, but it's it's a good chunk. Like it's four packages out of maybe five or six. I, I lost count a bit. So I'd say let's open them and see what kind of wool I've got. I'm really excited because I mean, of course I saw it on pictures, but these are usually like bad smartphone pictures. And so I really hope it's some good wool. And I took a shower earlier, so that is why my hair is kind of 
going in all directions, having all of this volume, I'm sure tomorrow it won't be that way anymore. So let's see if I have to take scissors or something. Oh, oh she, she wrote a note. That's nice. She said uh, she hopes that I can make something beautiful out of it. Um, yeah, I hope I, I will be able to make something beautiful out of it. So here, that's like just some, some blue wool and I made sure, I always make sure that it's like 100% wool, but it's just wool that she really didn't need anymore, didn't have any use for it anymore. And so I'm happy to make something out of this. Let's see. Yes, this is actually like sheep's wool and camel hair. Interesting, I'm sure it's a great fiber and I'm not sure if I would buy it new, but secondhand is always great. So this is also a lovely blue color. Then, that's a color I would definitely not choose for myself. It's like, you can see it now. Um, but I think it will make a beautiful sweater or scarf or hats maybe. Let me know what pieces are that would, you would maybe buy or you would make out of these things um, to help me decide what to knit. And then, oh my God, we have another like blue. That's also 100% wool as all of the rest. Oh, I can see like the shape is a bit different. So we'll see what I, I'm able to make. Maybe maybe it's enough for like two sweaters, one with like the shade is just a little bit different. So that, um, yeah, just so that it doesn't like bother when the sweater is done or whatever it will be. And then we have this wool. This is also like a color I would not use for myself, but I think somebody will, somebody will like it. And I think it's gonna be very fun knitting with this colorful stuff. Oh, I see she started something, but then like didn't want to finish it, but I don't care. I can just open it up again and then do whatever I want with it. And then we still have some red wool. I think this is gonna be beautiful as well. Yes. Nice. That was package number one. Let's see, let's take the next one. Yes, so now that is like, these are colors I would more so use for myself too. Um, we have some beige wool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's see. Yes, this is 50 grams, so it's 400 grams. This might be enough for like a small sweater or a sweater vest or something like that. So eight of this beautiful beige color or like wool white or something like that. And then we have a lovely green here. I think this picks up as like more brighter and more vivid than it actually is. It's like a bit more toned down than it looks on the camera. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 550 grams. So this, is, this should be enough for like a decent sweater, even a sweater that maybe fits a person that's a bit taller than me. Whoop. The last one behind the bed. And then we also have like a white. This one is so low. Yes, I mean, I, I think it's amazing to also have some scraps or like only one piece because I really want to make like a scraps project or like a project that's very colorful. That's not something I would wear, but I'm fascinated by and I also love, but I just, I just don't want to wear it on my body. But I would love to make something out of like different single skeins or something so this i'm sure i can use this in a project and continuing this one is a poly bag oh that's that's something else oh that's fascinating i thought that i totally thought that's wool too but you know what that is that is like a sweater of my bank um i changed to like a sustainable bank and because i referred three people to that bank too. Um, they give, gave me like a free sweater, but because I don't need a sweater, I actually gave it one of the people I referred to the bank. So it's it's like an XL um, sweater, but I, that's, that's great. I'm gonna give that to the person that uh, chose it and wanted to have it. But we do have another package still. This one is already, um, broken actually but uh, so i was able to peek inside and i see some brown wool but let's see okay so 
Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, look at that color. This is such a beautiful color. Maybe you can like, you could, yes. Look at this. I think this is beautiful. And we have 400 grams. Again, a sweater vest, scarf, maybe a very small sweater um, like this. It looks like this. And then we also have 200 grams of this um, dark brown color. But I think um, maybe a hat, maybe a scarf, something like that. Yes, beautiful, great, amazing. That's, that's nice. Um, so now we have a bunch of wool. But all of that yarn, of course, also needs some space. And that is a problem for my, for my like stuff storage, if you know um, how I store my things. Um, I usually have three drawers and they are full. Like there's, there's no space for that much wool. But now um, my boyfriend emptied one of his drawers for me. Like, you know, it was kind of household, his stuff. And we do have a space for it. And that was just the best solution right now maybe in the future that will change if i need even more space but i have one drawer now for my knitting stuff so let's see how that goes And that was just the stuff that I had in this drawer here that usually keeps like, yeah. Oh no, there's more. That's also wool. Um, this is wool. Well, it seems a lot easier now to keep that in order because that drawer has just been, yeah, really bad for the past few months. But now when I have an extra drawer for my wool, it should be easier to keep it tidy again. wonder if it will fit. So this is as far as we've come. I think it looks lovely and it is super well organized, like not from the structure, but I can see almost everything. These are like single skeins and wool that is just not as much. And here I have like grouped together all the wool that has had like many skeins so I can make a bigger project out of it. And back here I have just some like patterns and things that I've showed you before as well. And this is like a cotton bag, actually from the sweater that I'm wearing right now. It's from Organic Basics and they always come in these cotton bags. And I use them for projects I am working on. So the problem is there's still two more bags here and that's a lot of wool. And I'm not sure right now where I should put it. But I think we'll find a solution for that too. And I'm just not gonna do it right now because right now I, I don't know where I should put it. And I was just putting the camera in another angle to film something else, to tell you something else. And while I did that, another package arrived. I think there's more wool in it. So I guess let's take a look. Ah, uh, yes. Interesting, yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, Usually I buy wool that is specifically made for hand knitting, obviously. Like that's the wool you buy when you want to knit something by hand. But I saw like an offer 
of somebody selling wool that is made for knitting machines and you could you just couldn't really tell how it looked and it was really really inexpensive so I thought like let's just give it a shot and see how it is and this is how it is now I knew that knitting machine wool usually is just a lot thinner and it is it's like the size of a sewing thread and I just gave it like I just gave it a go because I thought like it's so inexpensive let's might as well just try because um, there are always kind of a lot of offers of machine knitting yarn but I have like 1.2 kilograms of machine knitting yarn now and I mean I have different yeah ideas like it is just too thin like it is so thin you can barely see it it's so thin you cannot really use it for hand knitting but what you can do is like just taking eight of these and knitting them together hand knitting like just using a bunch of them to make a thicker thread or using them with another one just to give it a like an extra little bit of interest um like to the color we'll see but interesting now i know how this is now i know and i have to just try it out and see if this is an option as well and um, now i'm really not sure where they will find their place because as you can see they have like a hole here so it's like kind of a waste of space so what i wanted to show you is um the project i started the other day and it's this sweater vest i wanted to make and i'll see if i can show you it looks like this right now so it's this beautiful anthracite blackish color and it came with a huge ball you know size of my head but now it's it's shrinked a lot and i think it looks it looks nice so far it's gonna get longer obviously and i'm gonna make like a small like ribbed edge here and here for like for the sleeve holes armholes i don't know and on the bottom yeah interesting now the doorbell rang again let's see it wasn't more wool this time um we usually don't get that many packages you know that was even not even a package for us but it was a neighbor and we took a package for her because she was not at home so she came here to get her package that we like took from the delivery service for her because otherwise they would have to take it to the post office which is really annoying if you get a package but then you have to go to the post office to go get it because you were not at home so we always take the packages of our neighbors to just make it easier for them so um but the sweater vest yeah i um i think i like it it's like the, like the design is not perfect yet and therefore i thought that i'm gonna sell it for a little bit less expensive yeah i mean it's still i've, I've worked on it for maybe oh i don't know almost 20 hours now and the thing is um minimum wage in germany means you get like 10 euros an hour which would mean that this thing already costs 200 euros and i just i just don't know like i want to charge a price that is like appropriate for me for the time i spend working on it but i also want to charge a price that you can pay if you really want it um so i'm not sure yet how I'm gonna price the items. It's like really challenging because yeah, it's just, it, it should be a good solution for everyone. So let me know if you have ideas there or uh, yeah, what experiences or what you would pay or things like that. Yes. But I'm gonna like continue working on this and I first want to have like all the knitting stuff in here. So um, projects I'm working on, finished projects, wool, all the supplies, all the like the needles and stuff and it just it just doesn't fit. I really didn't think it was that much but if I would like have made the math then I would have known that it's not gonna fit. Yes so I just now I can start knitting. I'm, I'm really happy like it's beautiful wool, I, amazing, I'm looking forward to this and I like I have hopes for this business but I think I'm also realistic. It could be that I'm just going to knit up these things and then kind of try to sell those and then it's over again. When I don't feel like it, when nobody wants to buy anything. We're going to see. But yeah, that's it for right now. And now I have so much footage, I think, that I need to end this vlog. So please let me know if you liked it, if you were interested in 
seeing how this all continues with my business, with my knitting, things like that. And now I suggest you watch this video right here. It's my November in and out video if you haven't seen it. It's where I show you the first wool I have bought and all the other things that have come into my life in November. I hope to see you right there. Bye!